Hi guys. I thought I'd take this opportunity now, 18 months after my bicep distal surgery, to, to make another video, a video that sort of completes the picture, if you like. I did um, one at one week, two weeks, four weeks, 12 weeks, and now we are 18 months later, just to show you um, where I'm at, at at this moment in time. As far as the surgery is concerned, I've had absolutely no um, bad effects. Uh, I'm really pleased with how everything went. And as far as the recovery process is concerned, it was great. You know, at six six months or so, I was pretty much back to being able to do my max efforts. I took it cautiously, never went beyond the point of pain. I was still a little bit um, cautious about certain things, maximum deadlifts, heavy strength moves, etc. But saying that, I did uh, manage to complete my first free handing, free that, freestanding handstand uh, for 20, 20 odd seconds or so. And then I went on to complete um, my first strict muscle up, proper muscle up, um, which as you can imagine, that's pretty bicep intensive. Uh, and if you look back over some of the stuff that I've been doing since then, you'll see, maybe I'll show a few things here as I carry on talking and think about it afterwards, that, you know, you recover, a complete recovery um, is is possible completely. As far as the the bicep size and shape is concerned, is there a difference from how it was before? Well, um, I'd say that the left bicep, the one that was injured, is slightly more more bunched. Uh, there's a rounding, more rounding here, a little bit of a little bit of a gap here, but nothing significant. And actually, I kind of like the looks. Not pumped at the moment, but hey, you know, it's, I'm, I'm not a big guy. You know, but it's it's enough for me. And compared to to the other one, there's not there's not a not a huge difference, not a huge difference there. And um, do I do I feel that it's weaker than it was before? Um, maybe tiny five percent, possibly. But you know what? I keep training it and training it. I favour the the weaker side now in my training. So whenever I'm doing strength training or calisthenics, body weight, I tend to try and favour my left side more than my right to, to build it up and and for, for for moves when I'm when I'm working with kettlebells for example I'm snatching and I'm, I'm um, doing presses and such like I'm always favoring that that left side and I don't see any difference in the amount of reps really that I can do do I have any uh, ill effects uh, is there anything that uh, I feel that's different from from before possibly there's some small pains in the forearm if I really work myself out more than I did. But as far as the mobility is concerned, I've got total um, pronation, supination, and that compared to the other side, it's exactly the same. So I, I don't feel any different. And, and now on a daily basis, I'm not thinking about, you know, oh, I've got to be careful um, with with this arm because it, it, could, it could go at any point. No, I'm not doing that. Um, have I got back to plant training the way that, 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 that the thing that caused this in, in the first place? Yes, I have. Um, I've, I've been there, but I'm, I'm not doing it um, with the hands on the ground. I use parallettes to go into a neutral position so I don't stretch that, that bicep in the same way. I think that's just sensible at my age anyway to do something like that. But overall, all I can say that if you are consistent in the early days, with your rehab. If you, you know, every single day you are doing something and then through the day you are doing something, never to the point of pain and never to, to exhaustion, um, then I you will see a, a, a good recovery, I'm absolutely sure. Uh, I, I carried round a, a grip trainer with me all the time and I was squeezing, I even have one of those power balls, you know, the things that you can spin um, and uh, the, the light, goes on and all the rest of that sort of stuff. Anything to improve the grip, massively improve the strength around here. Also, don't forget to train the other side when you're recovering in this one, because the, I, I found there was a, a, a transference, and you can read this up on the web, that if you train your, your, your strong side, it can transfer. Um, I'm not saying you're gonna build massively on that side, but overall strength will 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 increase, or well, that's what, that's what I found. But as I say, just be consistent in your approach to, to the rehab. And look, if you're not, and I've been getting a lot of questions over this, if you're not happy with the progress you're making or the approach that the medical professionals and, and physios and, and such like are having, just seek another opinion. Look, I'm not a medical expert. 
I'm not going to tell you, you should be doing this in this way, you should be doing that. Everyone is absolutely different and all your injuries will be slightly different in some way. So I never specifically say you should or shouldn't be doing, but seek a second opinion. Um, the surgeon I had was, was very progressive. He, uh, you know, specialised in rehabbing and, and helping sports people. People at a really high standard, not that I am, by the way, <laughs> that's not what I mean. But, you know, he he, t he trained under the guy that had uh, you know helped the world's strongest man at that time to recover his bicep within bicep injury within six to eight months. So, you know, seek out someone that's dealt with this before and, and is and is proactive. Um, but as I said, take take a cautious approach when you are recovering. You follow the program, be consistent. Don't ever go beyond the point of pain and just have patience knowing that it will it will come back. Just have that patience, you know, and you will retain that side. The size will come back, you know. So for those of you that are into the aesthetics and such like it will come back. Look, I hope this has been helpful for you and giving you some reassurance that you can get back to, to, to where you were and beyond. That's where I am. I'm going beyond where I was now. Never fit, don't even think about this injury now when I'm when I'm training. Um, but I hope so. As I said, I hope that's been of some help to you. And uh, good luck with your own recovery. And feel free, seriously, feel free to to reach out in the comments down below and ask me anything you want to. And I'm I'm more than happy when I get the time to come back to you and give you a response. Anyway, you take care now, guys, and uh, good luck. Cheers. <laughs>